Hello and welcome to Is This Good? The show where we boldly, conclusively, and scientifically decide what things in this big wide world are good. I'm Matt Austin, and with me, as always, is production powerhouse Jason Doyle. Hello. Hi, JD. Thanks for coming. And today's guests are actors, writers, and goddamn Australian legends. You know her from NBC's American Auto, him from ABC's Call Your Mother. These are network TV shows, people, okay? This is basic cable. Everyone has this. isn't some fucking bullshit streaming service you signed up for the free trial and forgot about. But they are currently on a victory lap for writing, creating, and starring in Colin from Accounts, a certified smash We're talking a literal 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is a writing team. They are so dedicated to their craft. I promise I'm done in a second, guys. No, 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 keep going. going. (laughs) This is a writing team that's so committed to their craft, they live in the same house. For that reason and that reason alone, or maybe it's because they're married, I'm not sure, but I'll ask them. They're the jolliest swag man and swag woman you ever did meet. Patrick Brammel and Harriet Dyer. Patty and Harry, welcome wow. to Is This Good? That was just such a good... I'm, I've best. never been called a swag woman. Well, I think you should, because when like, you walk, you got a lot of swag. A jolly swag woman. Jolly. You're and very like, jolly a swag woman. by Billabong. Yeah. What you didn't mention in the intro, it was a lovely intro, is that because this is a scientific podcast, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. we are first and foremost scientists. Yes. I didn't so, know that. Are these degrees yeah. from, an, from an accredited university? Look, what is accreditation in this day and age? Let's, <laughs> let's, not, let's not linger on that. Uh, wake up, sheeple. Yeah, wake up, sheeple. Do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, is Swagman, because obviously it's from Waltzing Matilda, which is, yeah. or I guess, the unofficial Australian anthem. Yeah. Is that like a slur or anything? Maybe I should have looked into that first. It sounds like no. it might be a negative word. Look, no. the, jolly, the jolly Swagman from, the, uh, from Waltzing Matilda. Which was written by... Uh, banjo Patterson. I think it was a banjo number. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We've never sounded more Australian. <laughs> and, 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 and Banjo Patterson. Did you know, back in the day, before they decided on the national the Australian national anthem, which is called Advanced Australia Fair, which is very catchy, mm-hmm. uh, there was there was a real there was like a real fight between the Waltzing Matilda really? crowd and the Advanced Australia Fair crowd as our national anthem. As our national anthem. Well, it's more of a silly song though. Well, it is now because it's not the. Give nash. us a first vo- verse for people at home. Once a jolly swagman can buy a billabong. Under the shade of a coolabar tree, and he sang as he watched and waited while his billy boy. I just boy hear people turning off. Oh, come a waltzing Matilda with me. Oh my god! I hear, I hear people, tur- I hear people reaching for their phone in their pockets so they can crank it up. Yeah, they're all shazamming this. Top three things I didn't think I'd be doing today is singing Waltzing Matilda in the style of John Williamson. Oh, so good. Um, People everywhere are going, what is this, the guy from fucking Midnight Oil? (laughs) (laughs) Bluey's dad? Yeah. Um, No, this is, um, this, Swagman, it's not a slur. Swagman is fine, but it's not a slur. But in in the context of that song, he was a thief. Oh. He was cattle rustling. He was stealing sheep. So in his swag was a sheep? Uh, no. Big swag, I guess. No, he had, ma- he he had, had massive swag. swag. A lot of swag. I, I do love that song because there's in the first verse, which you sang, I don't know how many verses there are, but you said like, se- seven words. You said seven words that I don't know what they are. Fantastic. Ah, that Billabong? Means, was Billabong uh, one of them? Yeah. Billabong and a what? A cool... A cool tree. It's a yeah. tree, type of tree. Billabong, Billabong is a is pond. Is it like a should. swamp? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we should just go through all 72 verses and that'll be yeah. the whole show? We actually <laughs> have it like as a children's book with pretty illustrations for our yeah. daughter and we mm. we it came in like a four pack of very australian kind of songs yeah. but just pictures but we kind of can't read them to her because they make us a bit emotional yeah a bit emotional <laughs> we kind of like get into it there's also like clancy from the over over overthrow overfall overflow overflow i know that by heart yeah don't um, get me start on that one there's also like um, home among the gum trees but Honestly, like sometimes it's seven fifteen. You've done a full day with her. You're already a bit emotional. You can see her <laughs> her crib. It's so close. So close. The day is almost over. So then, if at this weak moment you crank out like an Aussie classic, you're crying. Yeah. Because we miss home too. Any anyway, jingoistic nationalism is this good? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd say so. as long as it's not American jingoism. Uh, all the other countries, it's very charming. Yeah. What's jingoism? What's a jingo? It's a type of dog. It might take your baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, so it says here in my notes you're Australian. Covered that. Okay. Covered. Good. Tick. Um, 
And of course, is it okay if I call you Harry and Patty during this, oh, or is please. it a more professional setting? Oh. We'd like to go with Patrick and Harriet. No, I'd feel weird. I'd I feel I, like we were in, I in think, a government situation. I think we're situation. comfy with Harry and Mr. Bramble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I have to say it was confusing because when I first yeah. heard about you guys yeah. from, from our mutual friend, who I'm not going to name right now just to keep her on edge because you know she's going to be fucking furious if we don't talk about her. At yeah. All yeah. Furious. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk okay. around her. So yeah. some nameless person. Yeah. yeah. Um, who isn't very attractive uh, or talented. And her personal hygiene is not good. <laughs> not That's why we're not going to talk about her. Yeah. Um, yeah like, because yeah. we'll have to say embarrassing things about her. Yes. Yeah. But she started telling me about Harry and Patty and Harry and Patty. And then oh. Harry, I met you first. Yeah. And she was like, oh, this is Harry. And I'm like, hold on a second. Yeah. Wait yeah. A second. If that's fucking Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Then who's what's Patty? Going on with, what's yeah. going on with Patty? Yeah, what and it's hell's... full P-A-T-T-Y. Like he went full lady with that nickname. Well, I started shortening the name before I realized that the acceptable spelling of it is two d's and i started with t's which is the feminine version of it really yeah by which time it was too late and i've just i've taken a position and i'm not backing down and now his new thing is patrice so it's just gone even further in that direction yeah our nameless friend calls me patrice yeah nameless gorgeous friend harry calls me patrice (laughs) it's uh it's a new phase that i'm embracing yeah but yes harry and patty you just go nuts For, for the listeners harry is the girl Patty is the boy. Uh, okay. sis, yeah, uh, 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 gender assigned at birth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, let's talk about Colin from Accounts for a second. Go on then. Okay, because as I said, you created it, you wrote it, you acted in it. Did you do anything else? Did you produce it? Maybe you we produced, produced it. it. We yeah. produced okay, it. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. All right. So, yeah, yeah. did you? Look, we, we didn't direct it. Didn't direct it. No. Nah. A bit lazy. Because we are. Yeah, very. lazy. We we don't. We're not very ambitious. New. Uh, so this is a romantic comedy, and as everyone knows, a romantic comedy needs a meet cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Harry, can you describe what the meet cute is in Colin from Accounts and how yes. you came up with it? I uh, th- basically the meet cute is um, my character Ashley. She's a little bit day drunk. She's walking down the street. She's ha- mm-hmm. just going through a breakup, so she's feeling a bit bleh. She's also running late to something, so she's kind of buttoning up her shirt on the move. Sure she's she listening is. to like. A banger in her ear. ear Waltzing AirPods. Matilda. She's listening to Waltzing <laughs> yeah. Matilda. The remix. <laughs> yeah. Cardi B did a thing with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And she's feeling herself, right? Uh-huh. And then she went, goes to cross a road as old mate. A man pulls his car up and almost kind of, they almost have a little, oh, and it's like, you go, no, you go. And because it's not set in California, mm-hmm. it's not clear that just the pedestrian goes, in Australia, Cars, Dr- have right cars have right of way. Generally. And they mm-hmm. kind of speed up towards you if you think you're going to sneak across it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's... A lot of angry drivers. <laughs> it's funny. I actually uh, almost got hit by a car the first time I went back to Australia. I forgot. And someone sped up towards me. I was like, oh my God, I've been living in California too long. Yeah. Ho- holy anyway. shit, they, they take tall poppy syndrome really seriously. They really... If they're going they to run you, you over. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Just, uh, people from TV, <laughs> speed up! <laughs> totally. And I'd just come out of hotel quarantine, actually, in Brisbane. So I'd been in a hotel room for two this weeks. This is not the meat kit. This no. is... Uh, Sorry, I've a, gone on a new path, new tab. That's okay. Yeah. We, we can meander here. But Fantastic. I've, I got out of the two-week hotel quarantine and like, so I kind of was a bit like... Day drunk. Um, what's that guy from Shawshank? Gre- Gre- Greaves. Tim Robbins? <laughs> what? No, no. The guy that gets out. Oh, the guy, the institutionalized and, guy. Yeah. Uh, Grims? Greaves? Brooks. 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 Brooks was here. Brooks was here. Brooks basically, was here. basically, I was Brooks in Brisbane. <laughs> and, and I just stepped out in front of a road and a woman was like coming towards me real fast. And I like hit her bonnet. I was like, what are you doing? Hood for Americans yeah. or Canadians. Yeah. Hit the bonnet. And she's like, oh, get out of my way. And I'm like, oh, well, that's right. I've been a Brooks in California. Fully Brooks. Closed tab. Back to original tag. And the, the hotel owner ran out after he was like, you could have used the door. You didn't need yeah. to tunnel through to get out. You actually kind of do, though, because the hotel quarantine new tab. New was tab. the most. Okay, we're going was, back. We're yeah. going back. Yeah. Uh, new tab. Go to history. Um, Brooks bit. You actually had so many layers of security. And if you tried to break out of your two week hotel quarantine, they'd give you another week. Yeah, this was. Are you aware of this in Australia during the pandemic? We, if we went back, we had to do two weeks quarantine. Yeah, because yeah, I know Canada the whole well. was it Johnny oh, Depp yeah. or who brought a dog and people. Oh, that was a different. That was a different, different time. Different. That was just okay. a uh, Johnny Depp trying to smuggle in his dogs. <laughs> but there were there were stars that were like trying to skip it, or like they'd get a mansion in the hills of some Byron or something yeah. to mm-hmm. skip it. Um, anyway, Close so, that. So, so, so back to the meet. Okay, so Ashley's God's going sake. to walk across the road. He stops his car. 
they do a little, uh, you go, no, you go. Oh, okay, I'll go, thanks. And as she's walking, she goes, he's kind of cute. I'm just going to flash a little nipple. And then as she puts said nipple away, she's kind of so like... she flashes the nipple. She flashes a small amount of nip, and then she's like... Uh-huh. They, she <laughs> the whole thing. Of, I see the whole thing. <laughs> just, Everybody does. A <laughs> hint of nip. It's, it's a whole nip, it's let's a face statement it. And nip. I dare not Google myself right now, because I'm sure... I mean, this, this show's playing in almost 20 countries... Uh, well, it will be in a couple of months, and I'm sure there's a lot of people online who have slowed that down, captured uh-huh. it, done some weird shit with it. Uh-huh. I don't want to know about it. Okay. But I, I flashed the nip. I close then- my eyes, just so you know. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Respect. Out of respect. <laughs> yes. Because I was going to say, you haven't seen my wife's nipple, have you? I mean, yeah. not. You're not just sitting here talking to me man to man, having seen my wife's nipple. <laughs> I promise you, JD, have you seen his wife's nipple? I have not. Oh, so you're a fucking bad host. You haven't watched the show. It's you know not what? available you, you sh- where I live. You should just Google it. I'm sure it's there. Okay, <laughs> you can Google it, JD. Everyone else. Oh, no one yeah, else. I'm sure you can Google it. Please just, don't. Just anyway, so she show. flashes the nipple. Uh-huh. Yes. Get to you. The, I'm sorry. the meat cute in real time Matt, goes for about 30 I'm seconds, sorry. not for Matt, eight minutes like it Matt does. Matt asked me. Okay, but it's he just goes, like we've gone to 2020. I just want to be clear. Okay. He asked me. Okay. Yep. So then uh, basically his character hits a dog that he didn't notice because okay. he's in like nipple moment mm-hmm. and yeah. then mm-hmm. his car's like just nudged a little Arr! and then hit a dog. I a turn dog. around because he's like, he calls me, I turn around and then uh, titles. Yeah. Okay, great. So, That's so the meet cute. your meet cute, I mean, public nudity and animal yep. cruelty. Nothing yes. cute yes. about that, I would say. Nope. Uh, in Australia, very funny. Okay. Do you know what, comedy do, staples. Do you know what's funny? We've um, we're all over this website, which we learned about. So we went and saw Ricky Gervais's most recent stand up, and he did a bit on this website called Dog the, Does the Dog Die dot yeah. com. Are you Are you reading my mind, Harry? That's the <gasps> next question I have for you. Get out of Matt's out of notes. Here. Get Sorry. out of his notes. Okay. Let him let run the ask, podcast. Jesus. Uh, let me ask the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know about this wax website? Uh, Does the dog die dot com? Really? No. Was that your question? Yeah, that was my question, yeah. <laughs> Stop. I have a follow-up. I do have a follow-up. Well, I was yes, going to read, I was gonna read your entry in this on this website. Incredible. Perfect, because there's some okay. weird shit on there. He, okay. he, Let him do he, it. Let him do it. it up. <laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so obviously there's some fucking people that are so sensitive that they can't handle a dog dying during a movie. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no can. website yeah. called Does Macaulay Culkin Die at the yeah. End of My Girl <laughs> dot com. Yeah. Is it? He, he does, he yeah. Does. He does. He gets oh. stung by bees. Oh yeah, and oh. he might also die. Does he die in the Good Son? You know that movie where he's not mm. a good son. He's I a bad know. son. I don't know if that made it to Australia, but but then you, uh, the, yeah, the little girl has to try to put his glasses on in his coffin because he's going. His glasses. He can't see without his glasses. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. We're not paying then, for this acting. This is free acting. We're getting yeah. right here. Amazing. And that was, you know, it was better it was than sad. vape. Better it was than sad. vape. Okay, but people need to know if the dog dies, okay, yeah. when they're starting they a movie or a TV show. So this is what your entry says. It says, okay. the dog is hit by a car right at the beginning of the first episode. You hear a squeal, and you see him lying in the road, but you don't actually see the car hit the dog. Okay. The dog then becomes a main character in the series and is loved. He gets some lovely little wheels to help him walk around. Oh, so, there you go. That's nice. Safe. Spoiler safe. alert. Holy. Yeah, Maybe I know. Spoils. But yeah. then I wanted to know, okay, well, like, so people are cool with this, but, like, I want to look up a movie where the dog definitely dies and see what yes. people say about it. Is that, that. like, so Marley up, and Me? I looked up Marley and Me. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen wow. it, but I... Nor have I. I mean, if you know one thing about Marley and Me, it's that the dog dies. The dog dies. Okay. Well, that's dies. two things. That's Marley and uh, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> two spoilers yeah. for me. Anyway, go on. Patty, if you haven't watched My Girl yet, that is... <laughs> Give me a minute. Just keep... I'm busy. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, I mean, honestly, Harry, you, you can talk for the rest of the episode. Patty, you can pull it up on your phone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, or uh, I can just keep doing his glasses. He can't see without his glasses. <laughs> can't see without his glasses. Uh, okay, so this is what the, the review for Marley and Me says. It says, the star of the movie dies, not in its sleep or slips away on its favorite patch on the back lawn. (laughs) It is taken to the vets to be put to sleep. 
Thanks, Mom, for buying us this DVD because the dog looked just like our Amber. We spent <laughs> years trying to harden our hearts, ready for that last journey to the vets and the final choices we would have to make. Thank God life isn't a film rerun. In the end, our old lab retriever did eventually fall asleep naturally on the grass in the sun. In the kindness of God, but, and this next part is in all caps, I would never be able to watch that film again, and I do not recommend it to anyone who cares about animals. Wow. 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 So yeah. you're lucky that you didn't kill this dog. Otherwise, we, no one would watch your show. We, we didn't get an old cat's response like that. I mean, mm. I think I, I think there's just a lot of people out there with a lot of feels, and especially about animals. And it's not just, it doesn't just stop at dog. If you look at that website a bit, as I did, some of the questions, like, is it does a, does the cat die? Is, is it, there hate speech? Does a dragon die? Yeah. Uh, is does, there a, is, is someone there a, vegan? Is there a messy kid's room? Really? I mean, people get triggered by a lot of weird shit. Is there a dad with a beard? Yeah, yeah, that kind JD. of stuff. JD. Yeah. I don't know if you're a dad. But there's like, yeah, it gets very specific. So the website is called Does the Dog Die? But really it's, will anything trigger me in this? Anything. Is there a man eating a hot dog? Yeah. And, and I have some weird trigger kinks. Like... <laughs> it's a really good website. And I'm really sorry that we knew about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no, like, it would okay. have been a really great bit, Matt. And we only just learned right. about it. It has been a great bit. Is I think it? we've all I think we've all learned something and laughed. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I'm, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, we've done it's about actually... 50 episodes of the show. I find it always works best when whatever I'm about to say is preempted by the guest. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Definitely. Uh, I don't know if this is an apocryphal story, but I heard on a, a podcast. Uh, you like know, like apocryphal, the, like, like maybe the four true, maybe not the apocryph- true. <laughs> Apocryphalips. Ap- Apocryphalips. Oh, I want to learn the word. Apocryphal? Yeah, there you go. That's right. Yeah. Um, so in Anchorman, uh, mm. remember there's that dog, Baxter. Remember yes. he kicks yes. the dog over. Yeah. Yes. To, over the bridge. And, right. The so, so apparently they were getting like really horrible test reviews on it before it came out. Oh. And they couldn't oh. figure it out because they were like, we think this is like the funniest thing we've ever done and then someone came up to them like a producer was like you idiots don't you know the one rule of movies you can't kill a dog yeah and they're like oh we didn't even think of if the dog was dead we just like funny like the dog gets kicked and we didn't even think (laughs) of it's alive or dead so they just added a shot uh you know like they did reshoots of a dog of the dog coming back and their test scores like shot up Wow. wow. That's wild. We just caught up with a mate of ours, an Australian writer. He's always busy, and but he has a real penchant for um, dark stories. He, I don't know if you saw Snowtown oh, or yeah. Nitram or... or uh, what was the other one? Animal Kingdom? Was that him? Uh, no, I don't think... Oh, no, was it? No, it wasn't. I don't think that oh. was it. No, it wasn't. Oh, you're thinking anyway, we, bought a, we bought a zoo. We bought a zoo. <laughs> yes. No, anyway, he likes a dark, gritty story, and he's named his uh, company Shoot the Dog. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, well, as, as, a, as a sort of a response to Save the Cat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. God, yeah. now we're getting... The working. quintessential uh, screenwriting yeah, book we're for getting, uh, everyone We're getting home. real into the weeds Some here. Some deep cuts. Um, let me throw in a, uh, a is this good oh. as we go, okay? Huh. This is a no. bonus, is this good? Because, Love it. Smack us around um, with it. it okay, you guys have an age gap in your mm. relationship uh-huh. mm-hmm. and also written into the show and as someone who also has an age gap in their relationship mm-hmm. is having an age gap in your relationship good what are you repping matt uh like how many years yeah mm. uh nine okay mm. nine years the diff yeah are you the elder party yeah, even though I look young, you're like, how oh, old yeah, is this course. chick? Twelve? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. Tw- I'm not good? 21. No, um, no yeah. that's bad. Yeah. 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 Maybe I should have reworked that to have been like, no, what is good, she? Twenty? You know, <laughs> no, but, but it's there. Good. It's on tape. It's we on can't tape. Edit it up. There's, no sure. it. There's no way of cutting that. There's no way of cutting it. Is an age good? gap? Look, I, I would we're say we're repping twelve. We're repping twelve. Twelve and a half. I'm younger, obviously. I would say. I would say it's diminishing returns. I think it's good now. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Cut to when I'm 75. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, like, a, different and I'm a tight 63 at this point. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'll be like, it's even better. Uh, yeah, it's I'm a Pilates 60s lady. And yeah. he's, I guess, in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is this good? Look, uh, if from a, like a purely sentimental, emotional standpoint, not funny at all, I do remember when we were falling in love, it was eating me up a little that like I wouldn't have, if, if he was my age, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have, I'm losing 12 years or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's yeah. all a bit not funny. 
Um, now Just I'm put some sound effects him. under it. Now I'm sick of him. <laughs> it's okay now because I might get another in. Do you know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What are you thinking? I don't know. When I'm in my in my Pilates phase and in, in my sixties, okay, I could pull. Mm. Who knows? Just a similar. Patrick Bramall type, probably just more of the same, thanks. Well, maybe I'll go 12 years the other way. <laughs> yeah? And I'll and find... You, and I'll then find, see how you like it. Stay with me, maths. I'll yep. find a, a cute 51-year-old. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you, know you what can, I mean? And then Life you can experience on. what it's like to have a younger person who's over a decade younger than you telling you how the world works all the time. <laughs> That'd be, that, would be, that would make me smile in my grave. <laughs> uh, well, in my experience, yeah. um, she, they don't like that. They don't like it when you explain things. They don't like it when you talk about movies from the early 80s that no. you love and no, ask them to watch. No, they don't. Um, and, and I don't like it when, when I show her movies that I love and she goes, this sucks. Wow. <laughs> There's not a lot in it for me sometimes. Like, it, it, you know, those movies that you love, kind of generally, they're all about dudes. Dudes doing dude things and then a hot girl comes in in a little dress or something and does yes, something. That's how things were when I was growing up. It's all yes. about dudes. Yes. yes. There was there wasn't a woman on screen no, until who wasn't 1994. Talking. Everyone Unless she knows she was mounting this. a cannon or Even something. Even then she was mounting a cannon and talking about dudes. Yeah, this is the thing. I do get a bit bored with some of your kind It was of... a simpler time. <laughs> Jesus, does does Colin from accounts pass the Bechdel test? Oh, I think so. You'd want to hope talk, so. Talking you... to the dog count? No, the dog's well, a boy, so. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it doesn't God. count. Oh, yeah. we started that up. Yeah. It should have been Karen from Accounts. Should have been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's good. I think it's good because even if I had met Pat at the same age as me, he wouldn't have been the Pat that I met then, would he? That's oh, true. Oh, you would have met Garbage Pat. Garbage Pat. Garbage Pat. Idiot, that was like, young, dumb idiot Pat. Yeah. So I would say it's Still good. Still Steal your heart, Pat. Yeah. Also, yeah. I, I keep him young, you know. I keep him. That's you know. Right. She I sure wheel does. him out into the sunlight every afternoon. He does and... yeah. Make sure I get my dose of yeah. Put make okay, sure if, his, his if you're feeding tube is in. I want to just say, mm. Patrick, very attractive man. Thank he you. Is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here, here's let me prove it for a second, Harry. Oh, do you yeah. think um do you think Kevin Bacon is attractive? Yes. Okay. Longer pause than I thought, but mm. okay. Uh, because, let's um, move on. I do think Kevin Bacon's attractive. <laughs> okay. I just, um, I just, I don't know. I don't okay. Because yeah. we, you have we, remarked on his handsomeness previously. Have we? I? Yeah. He's attractive. Yeah, him. absolutely. Okay, he's yeah. attractive. But I know Full him stop. in person now. Like, I've oh, seen, like, okay. Well, that's what I was going to say. Had a few meals. He's married to Kira Sedgwick. Yes. Yeah. Patty played Kira Sedgwick's love interest. Yeah. Yes. On a TV yeah. show, so that must mean that they thought this guy is at least as good looking as Kevin Bacon. Otherwise, people are going to be watching the show, going, "This doesn't make sense that she's attracted to him." It, that's yeah, right. You're right. I'm you're constantly right. being compared favorably to Kevin Bacon, <laughs> uh, and honestly, it's exhausting. Yeah. I'm sick of the. I'm more than just a, a good looking vest. Guys, yeah, I've got something to say. I have opinions. Yeah, you're more than just a six heritage. degrees of attractive people that look like Kevin Bacon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And you're no, number he's one. He's definitely attractive. I think I just, I, I guess I, mi- I also miss the, the movies. Oh like, yeah, you're not attached to, to, age gaps. to Footloose. And- I watch them. I don't know. Late. I don't know. Okay, but that's good he's if you know him in person. Attractive. You're not like. Oh, do the dance in in the barn again? Yeah, no, no, no. We're constantly trying to stop him doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, Kev, we're just having dinner, mate. Stop doing. We all know you're in the movie. Come on. <laughs> you're dri- on the way to drive home. You're like, Jesus. I wish Los Angeles was that town from Footloose that prevented people from dancing. <laughs> Where's John Lithgow when you need him? <laughs> exactly, Harry. So in the movie, there's a town. You can't dance in it. It's not oh. important. And John we're Lithgow's sort of the town father, and he, he won't what? stand for it. It has occurred to me. I haven't. Seen Seen it, oh. but they, they they did a remake. But you've seen about three movies, and you okay. Don't, uh, don't, how many? What's don't. your favorite movie of the canon of movies? Don't. All the movies that have ever been made, Harry. What's your favorite? It's a good movie. What is it? Misery. That's a good oh, movie. Head. That's and that's older than one would expect given this Thank conversation. Thank you. Yeah. Do you think I was going to say Mean Girls? No, Misery. But she's seen three movies total. That's not true. Uh, Four. Okay. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with Misery. It no, Misery's company. good. Misery's good. But is that your favorite movie yes, of all the movies? Yes, it's a fantastic... It's a great story. Okay. As I'm talking, uh, I feel Patty, like... Patty, is she, is she miserying you right now? To blink, if so. 
Yeah. He <laughs> hasn't. We've he cut the blank. phone lines. This is the only amount. This is the only bit of like outside interaction he's allowed. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. <laughs> and this is me and I'm volunteering to be here and uh-huh. very uh-huh. happy. Very happy, guys. Don't show them your ankles, Patty. <laughs> what ankles? <laughs> All right, we're going longer than we normally do in this okay, portion yeah, of the podcast, yeah, but on. I don't care. I don't Her fault. Her care. Because fault. I, still have, I still have another question. I have many more yeah. questions, but right. I, I do have this question. Because Patty, last time I saw you uh, at the home of this mutual friend, mm-hmm. which we shall not name. Nameless. Nameless. Fa- faceless, nameless. I would say. Yeah. Sexy person. Yeah. Sort of, you see like a picture of a busy street. You're like, yeah. she could be any of these people. Could really. be. Yeah, could be. Sort of blends, blends in. Would be a good spy in that sense. Ca- camouflage. Don't take notice of them. There's no, no. notice. Draws no um, attention in a room. Okay, so last time we were together, we were sitting on a couch together, Patty. We sure and were. of course, as men do, we Clothes? first we, we say we were clothed. We first say mm. uh, to each other, uh, "Would you like to talk about sports?" We both say no, or or sport as you call it in Australia. Yeah, yeah. We call it sport. Yeah. Uh, so then we had to talk about TV because yeah, after, if you don't want to talk about sports, you have to talk about TV. So we were talking about Succession, and mm-hmm. one thing you didn't mention to me, Patty, which mm. I had to fucking find out on the internet like Good. a loser. Good. Is it you played Rupert Murdoch? <laughs> did you, you're sure laughing did. like you forgot about that. No, I remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did. I, I mean, I sort of forgot. I, we, you know what? Weirdly, I had a meeting with uh, one of the executive producers on Succession before Succession happened. They were putting it together. Are you lying? No, this was <laughs> Kevin Messick, the, one of the EPs. I was having a meeting with him. Oh. And he was like, so you played Rupert Murdoch? I was like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. I'll talk about that for a bit. And he said... We're putting together a show at the minute, kind of loosely based on the Murdoch family. And I was like, yeah, keep me in mind. Lol. So hopefully, hopefully that call will come through any day. Oh, yeah. Still waiting. Oh, Sorry, so we'll just check your phone now. You didn't oh, get weird. it. Oh, weird. Still never, nothing. Never say never. <laughs> okay. Never say never. There, surely there's going to be an origin story to see the prequel to Succession. Yeah. And that'll be my moment to shine. You could be a, a young Logan. Or a middle, yeah. There you go. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, fucking... <laughs> Fuck off. Was that you? Was that you in makeup? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does, isn't it? Yeah, well, did you get to say fuck off at all as Rupert Murdoch? Uh, uh, no, I don't think Rupert no, was, was much Channel, of a swear at that and time. And it was Channel 9, so it was, it was really, broadcast like, situation. broadcast on 8.30. Mm, yeah, they yeah. Wouldn't, and they was, may have you said rack off. It was one of those... <laughs> rack, I didn't say rack off. I was very committed to it at I'm that time. I'm just sorry. I just need to ask, is he too loud? He feels really loud all of a no, sudden. No, no, no. Since it, you this brought up a... Rupert, he got very loud. Sorry, is, no, she speaking okay. for too, is she speaking too much? <laughs> it just, I don't know. It's just coming through. It just feels to me like she's speaking too much. Okay, okay sorry, I have another Rips. note on my paper that says you're married. Okay, yep, huh. we got Copy. that. Yeah, yeah, did, yeah. You know have you, did you Google Paddy as Rupert? Because it was very funny. They, like, shaved his hair. No, should back. I do it right now? Oh, do it's I really want to see it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shaved his hair. Nothing's coming up. Nothing's coming up. Just clear your browser from Harriet's nipple and go Patrick Bramble, <laughs> Rupert Murdoch. And I, you know, I raised my hairline by about two centimetres to give that forwardy look. Two? Mm-hmm. Uh, it seemed like more. It, it makes a huge difference. Oh, God, it was very funny. And, and no was, facial hair. He looks so like a thumb. I was one of the leads. <laughs> oh, you were cool. I don't it know. Was, thanks, buddy. And uh, it, was, it, was the, it was the story of Rupert Murdoch uh, and his rise to power versus a guy called... Um, Frank Packer, who was one, sort of a media behemoth in Australia. And so it was, we were the two leads, there were other people in there. And it was like, we did it, it was a big kind of, you know, drama, Channel 9 over two exciting weeks. It was one of those shows. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Australian, you'll know what voice I'm doing. Yes, and, and then we thought, oh, this might, you know, get some eyes on it, maybe some awards. And it did get award nominations for the actors, but it was like award battleship all around me. Everyone other than me was <laughs> nominated. nominated for awards. It was Stunning. just like, no talk about my performance. Nobody mentioned it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was Luke warmly reviewed. Could could would you did it open any doors? Oh fuck no, it's probably not. Oh god, <laughs> close close some actually closed quite a few doors <laughs> and windows. <laughs> yeah, and curtains were drawn <laughs> and just a tumbleweed. It, you know, it, yeah, it, you, it you, you had to t- your acting career had to tunnel out like <laughs> like yeah. uh, Shawshank style. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but sorry, you you know you just mentioned clear your browser history uh, mm. for for Harry's nudity, but this this mm. brings up a good point. Now, Good. in the show, if you watch it, which you should, it's not in America yet, but it's going to be, at the end, we can go through 
uh, mm. when it's coming and how it's well, coming. Well, we, we can't say it yet. In yeah, we can't say how and when. In but just, well, I'll scratch that up. I'll scratch what, that up. What we can say is, it's. I think it's showing on like Delta Airlines or America. Oh, yeah. Catch a flight. <laughs> it's just it's available it. just okay. above America yeah. if you want to uh-huh. uh, catch a flight. <laughs> yeah. Once you've got the, once in, you've gotten through the seatbelt, yeah. the, the safety video and all that, yeah. uh, head to Dallas. Yeah. Where oh, but wait, did they edit out the nipple though on for the <gasps> airplane? Great question. Mm, don't think they did. I don't know. Surely there must be a. Those, this isn't know. suitable for all blah blah blahs. I wonder if yeah. so. They, did they, put they a edited face? out the nipple, and he runs over a squirrel in it. Yeah. in this one, just to <laughs> make no one cares about that. Or a skunk. Squirrel. Hey, I wonder. That's a really good question. Well, you know, we should know these. We should things. book some tickets. Do you want to call your? A- do you want to call your agent? Um, they would want to loop them into this. Okay, they wouldn't. Know. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, here's my question. <laughs> great. New tab. Same tab. Fantastic. It, it works for for Harry's character. Obviously, she's a bit of a mess, as you said. She's day drinking, mm-hmm. but she was she was brave enough. She said, "The role calls for this. I must show my nipple." Mm. Yeah, Patrick, would you be brave enough to do nudity if it worked for your character for this meet cute situation? And I guess sub question: What is the male equivalent of one female nipple? Um, well, to answer the first part of your question, I do. Uh, get out some of my bits later in the season. In Ep 3, yep. Ep 3, you see some ass, And I would say that's maybe yeah. the equivalent. No. Well, I think a nut. Is it ass for ass? No, it's, yes, it's ass for ass. for not- ass, because those are equivalent. Okay. I think it's a nut. I think it's a nut. Because that's I think penis is the vagina. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> nipple is a nut. <laughs> and I think nut is a nipple. Right. But I wager... That if his character did a nut flash, it would be a prosthetic nut. Hmm. I yeah. wager that that's too far. Also, uh, if we'd flipped it and I was a bit day drunk and I was, but I was, <laughs> felt that the girl was a bit cute and flashed my nut, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it. I'm in the it car. would have quite the same appeal to the audience. She would have killed, like, seven dogs. Yeah, yeah. Could you, he'd be in jail. Could you imagine? He's walking down the street. He's had a breakup. Yeah. He's had a shot. Oh, there's a cute girl. Not. Nah. Nah. <laughs> With this face. <laughs> <laughs> Audience would be like, I hope these two get together. Oh, my gosh. I want to rethink the whole thing. Yeah, and, and squeezing the skin around it real hard so it looks like a chicken heart. You don't yeah. want that. You yeah. don't. Or, or do you? I mean, it really depends which <laughs> depends. Uh, which browser you, you, you're opening. Um, yeah, and I do get. I think uh, my dick comes out in episode three, oh or my does it? God. Or does it? But I yes. got See, I'm a, I'm on episode two, and I have to tell you because I'm I'm illegally watching this. I'm um, uh, VPNing. It's a real mm. pain oh, in the Canada? in the arse, as you might say. <laughs> uh, arse. Really yeah, good. <laughs> but when it comes out, I'm I'm watching it. I'm into it. Great. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. When is it going to come out? You can't tell me. Later this year. Yeah, later this so year on, an, on an unknown pl- on platform an unknown at this point. Platform. Yeah. An I mean, unknown know, platform but... that you might have. Okay. If, if they tell you it's coming out on Quibi, mm. I in would trouble. look into that. That's... Oh, is that bad? I oh. wish you'd... Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, God. Uh, We've got to zoom with Quibi after this. Yeah, let's call our agent in. Steaks. It's our favorite new sports game. Hold on, I sound a bit like a hipster being sarcastic about sports. What sports ball game is this? No, 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 that's not us. We do like sports around here. And Stakes is a super fun app that lets you flex your sports knowledge and dunk on your friends. (laughs) You may have heard that Matt and I went four for four on Stakes recently. (laughs) No big whoop. We're just a couple of guys that are great at predicting sports. And you too can predict sports for free. Compete against our community of thousands of other fans to prove you know sports and build your sports reputation. With Stakes, you can compete against other sports enthusiasts by predicting daily questions and climbing the ranks to earn rewards, all without risking your bankroll. It's free to play, and the more accurate your predictions, the more you win. Did I mention me and Matt's perfect score? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Open your phone right now and go to playwithstakes.com slash is this good to download stakes and start your journey to becoming a sports god like me and Matt. Only available on iOS in the US and Canada. Some quick housekeeping. Moving on. Uh, all right. We have some merch. Go to isthisgoodpod.com to get the Is This Good retro logo tee or hoodie. I think you could even order in Australia. So if your family, friends, they listen to this, they're like, oh, we should get a shirt from that uh, podcast they were on. Yeah. Amazing. They can. They can. Uh, unlike your show, it's available everywhere. 
Oh, that's so good. And I'm assuming this burn. is a, a gift, a, gi- a gift for guests. So we'll. Uh, oh yeah, that's wonderful. I, Thank I, you. Matt. I'll Thanks, take. JD. I'll take. I guess a medium, so it's kind of like loose and like I'll, I'll look like a cool mum walking a daycare. I'll take a medium in a hoodie. <laughs> Uh, funny, funny you should mention that, Harry, because our, our friend that we have in common, our tiny little friend, she ordered a double XL. Oh, that's classic. Double XL? Yeah, that's that is classic. classic. Just a go, I'm a cute small girl in a big shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll cinch it around the waist with a you know belt what? make it classic. into a little She's got it. Dress. She's got it. I'll have a classic. double XL as well. My God. Okay. I'll, I'll have a double it. XL as well, but just because <laughs> that's what I'll need. I thought that's just going up one size was enough, but she's so right. Yes. Uh, okay, so we do have the merch. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash isthisgood. Uh, and you can all, of course, send me an email at isthisgoodpod at gmail.com. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Blah, blah, blah. Let's move on. Premise of the show that we're getting to in the 34th minute, which is I'm great. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, no, that's yeah. not your fault. That's not your fault. I, I mean, mean we know well, I would say it's is. like at least one quarter your fault. But, <laughs> Mostly um, JDs. Yeah, JD. Just <laughs> JD. shut up, man. Shut up! Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Come on. This actually is a lot for me talking, to be is honest. It? Yeah. JD, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. He, he didn't want to. JD, you, you must have a story about showing someone you're nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you able to tell that one yet? Is the is the court order <laughs> lifted or? Yeah. Have I not told this kind of story? Well, you haven't told them. Show? Incredible. Yeah, I used to work in Greece uh, as a bartender back in the days of film cameras, and okay. it was at Harry. A... So in a camera, yeah, yeah, it used <laughs> yeah. to be like this. You'd like yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. a phone, but you couldn't yeah. call anyone. Oh, right. What? Yeah, it's huh. crazy. Sounds unlikely, but anyway, exactly. Yeah. So random. The guests at this hotel, this it was a disco, and they would give us their cameras. They would say, hey, can you hold on to my camera? i got to go dance on the dance floor. CNC Music Factory is playing right now. So they would leave I the camera behind nice. the bar, and we would go take it back there and take all manner of disgusting photos on, on film, film. Using their on film. On film, yeah. Fuck so it was like the know. practical joke. The where you never really got to see the result because you take it to the photo matter, the drugstore or whatever yeah. to get the get it developed, and there's just guys with their dicks out uh, all over your your film roll until one day somebody came back to the resort. Oh, they God. had developed their 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 <laughs> film Good. in like Italy, and then they were they just decided to had such a great time they came back and they gave me. A photo of myself that oh. I had taken, uh, you know, three weeks before. Uh, yeah, wow. and it was, and was great. this one of your classic uh, mangina pics? This was a. We had, this particular one was a mangina. So it was me Stunning. and my buddy doing the manginas. Beautiful. Uh, oh, full, full body. face, full everything. Body. Full body, Incredible. full face, everything. Well, it was a different yeah, time. Yeah. It was a well, different it was time. the '90s, so a lot of bush too. A lot yeah. of bush. bush a lot big. of bush. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like this should be a White Lotus storyline. <laughs> <laughs> really feels right? like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you know, get Mike White on the line. Let's go. Let's do this. You know, when I was. In my youth, no, when I was like, I don't know, 23, I remember it was kind of early days for iPhones. This is what, 11 years ago? Mm-hmm. I left, I was sitting at a bar having a drink with a friend, and I gave my uh, phone to the bartender because I wanted him to charge it. And he was like, no worries. He was really sweet, charged it. He, you know, he made us a few drinks. But and then when JD I left. Type, yeah? Hey? He was a JD type. It's a real JD type. <laughs> it wasn't a, di- a dick pic, but when I left, I got in the Uber. And I was looking at pictures, and he'd taken a picture of his name and number written on a coaster. Wow. How's about that? What a move. All right. What a move. What a move. Patty, let's, go, let's go kill him. Let's go kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, let's get this fucking guy. <laughs> we'll get, it. We'll get an airline ticket. We'll watch your show on the airplane. Yeah. And then we'll go fucking kill someone. We've got a lot of things to do at the end of this podcast. Yes. Just kill him. I was really impressed, though. I was like, okay, I couldn't necessarily say that's his move. Maybe all of the bartenders do it when anyone charges their fucking Mm. phone. Mm. But I was like... Got you. Really? Yeah. Could go either way. And no, and so just name, just name, number, no bush. No bush. <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> it's like this, it's no like this guy anymore. didn't even like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like he it was like. It's yeah. like he respected me. I yeah. don't know. Gross. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. Uh, honestly, if he was a real man, he would have told you his number to your face. Yeah. yeah. And, and shown made me remember bush. it. And shown you his mangina. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, written it in pubes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have to move. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. All right, here we go. First question. First question. Brilliant. This one has been requested by a lot of people. Oh. Haven't tackled it yet. Mm. 
at Nomad Cram. You know him on Twitter, at Nomad yeah. Cram. He yeah, asked yeah. this, Brennan O, Lewis M, Suzanne S. They all want to know, destination mm. weddings. Yeah. Are they good? And I'll start by asking, mm. as we've established, you are married. Yeah. Mm. Did, did you have a destination wedding? Well, actually... Yes and no. Yeah, yes and no. I'm looking for just a clear answer here. You're not going to get one here, buddy. Okay. <laughs> we had a wedding that no one was invited to. We basically eloped, in a sense, in yeah. Tampa. Tampa, Florida. Okay. So it was just the two of us Ho- on a little America's strip home of, of strip clubs, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. I told you that was a good venue. <laughs> yeah. um, we're on a little strip of beach, and it was just us, the, the lawyer, who was also a pastor, and two, um, two witnesses. Yeah, okay. uh, and they were, all three of them were drunk, ca- card-carrying drunk voters. <laughs> so it was just us and our special And it was few. 2021, so it, it was, was... It was a different time. Smarting. So it was it an event, uh, it was a destination wedding, but nobody really was invited. No, but we are having like a makeup wedding in, in Sydney for all our friends and family. But, you know, even that will be a destination wedding for some people, yeah. like who don't live in Sydney. Yeah. I think it, to an extent... All weddings are a little bit destination wedding, but I yes, think I, I think that a destination wedding is good because it separates oh. the wheat from the chaff. Are you <laughs> joking? Oh. What? That was the expression I was going to use. Well, we didn't even talk about this. Married. That's the best thing about it. Yeah. Like if the people go, no, you go good, good. good. Yeah. Didn't want you here. Yeah. If you, but but do you know what's quite funny is I think we kind of called the bluff of some friends of ours like. We got mm. invited to a destination wedding in Hawaii in February. Yeah. And it was, they're lovely people, but we've never seen the inside of their house and they haven't seen the inside of our house. Mm. Like, they were kind of more work buddies of Patty's. And, like, I'd met the bride once years ago and I don't think they expected us to say yes. And we did. We and it was did. the best. It was the best. But I, I remember being So you there. went to Kevin Bacon's wedding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell Kira. She doesn't know about it. <laughs> but it was on Maui. And, like, I remember being there going, everyone's made a pretty big effort to come here. And we've, like, we're, we're part of it. And it did make it pretty special. Also, I do love being uh, in a low-stakes vibe at yeah. a wedding. You're just a guest. You're in the suburbs of the, of the you know, tables. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't have to make a speech. You don't care. If the bride doesn't show up, you'd be like, I don't care. It makes a funny <laughs> yeah. story. Like, that's a great way to be there. But you can still be part of the specialness. If yeah. Special. It turned out to be amazing. And, like, now we're friends for life and we've invited them to our destination wedding in Sydney. Yeah. But it's Ooh, it, it was just a funny one. That's way further. Yeah. yeah. It is way further. Yeah. But I remember Rocking going, like, I can't wait to go to this because, yeah, if I miss the drinks the day before, it doesn't matter because they're not, like, my best friends. And we had a baby with us as well. So it was, like, it was just so low stakes. It was so fun. It was awesome. And now like, we're Maui people. I get it. <laughs> but, but, what that, Maui people. but what does that say? Like now you could also go to a wedding that's in Los Angeles where you don't know the person that well. Yeah. yeah. Where you're having that same experience of like, oh, just happy to be here. Yeah. Just yeah. Having fun. Yeah. But I guess the question is, is it people would say, is it too much of an ask to ask people to fly to Hawaii or fly to Australia? I think it is a big ask. It is. It is. I think it's a big ask for people who are like, if they said no... It would yeah. be like, what? Mm. You have to be there. It's like, well, you don't have to have your wedding in Maui, mate. Like, we're yeah. not all made of money. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, in that sense, if you... It pu- could cause problems, yeah. for sure. Yeah. But right. we are made of money. We sure are. Right. Like, my legs, <laughs> it's all cash. Yeah. Okay, now Paddy can't show his legs because he's he can't, shackled. He can I don't have yeah. feet anymore. <laughs> he's shackled to the couch. <laughs> yeah. They're, we- they're not rattling too much, are they? For the- no, uh, no, 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 it's fine. We're okay. not picking that up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you need so directional I'd, I'd so say good. destination weddings uh, is, is a yes. I think it's good. Okay, so you're, you're saying yes. So... Kind of like you were saying, Harry, what is a destination wedding anymore? Because I live in Los Angeles. So by definition, if I have Mm -hmm. a wedding in this city, it is Mm -hmm. not a destination wedding because Mm. I live in this place. But you've got family in Toronto, right? Yeah, I barely know anyone here. Yeah, Mm. yeah. You guys are maybe like my, uh, best friends, 14th 14th and 15th best friends here. Whoa. (laughs) Fantastic. Do you think, is that too much pressure? No. And on that, should we all get matching tattoos today? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. What should it be? Jaden. JD's JD with JD in? 100%. JD's Bush. I just want like a sketch of <laughs> JD's man vagina. Yeah. 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 yeah, but in a tattoo that's just going to look like a vagina. Yeah, but you explain have... it. 
It could yeah, be like a, a hairy slice story. of pizza. It could be many things. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> a, a cute wig. Uh, Hopefully what, not with pepperoni it? on it. Um, okay. See, now you've gone too far. That's Sorry. repulsive. Fuck's sake, Harry. I do. Yeah, Edit that I out, think, JD. Yeah. Any, it's a des- it, every destination is a destination. I mean, I remember I went to... I went to a wedding in a place called Wagga Wagga, mm-hmm. which the joke that's in Australia up. is that's a town so nice they named it twice. Mm. Oh, that's like we have, uh, what do we have here, JD? We have uh, Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla. There yeah, you go. Well, there you go. It's very close. Yeah, so you go to a town very so close. nice they named it twice. Yeah. But Wagga Wagga was like, it's uh, New York, New York, t- I guess. Sorry, that would be sure. another example. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, let you sp- I'll let you speak now. You can't, I'm not, you know, I'm not your husband. You can't directly yell at me for talking over you, but feel not free to. Directly. But I she will yell at me email. after this for your talking. I'll get She'll it say all. a bit, that Mac guy, bit of a misogynist. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I have to say now. My bit that I was going into isn't like good enough to last okay. this kind of interruption. Uh, okay. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to finally get back to it and be like, mm-hmm. ah. mm. and that's kind of on you, Matt. Yeah. But that's kind of payback for preempting his uh, yes, exactly. the dog die thing earlier. Sure, sure. It all evens out. That really well, hurt. Here I wish it you could is. see my Here's notes. My bit. I've crossed out um, so many guys, things. Guys, can we just, can I get through this? Okay. Uh, yeah, the town's sake. so nice, they named it twice. Yeah. And it's like yep. halfway between Sydney and Melbourne and yeah. all the guests were from Sydney or Melbourne. And so uh-huh. the, the celebrant was like, welcome to Wagga Wagga. Um, and now I'm going to fuck it up. Wait. Oh Welcome my to Wagga God. Wagga. She didn't even know the bit. She this didn't even know the bit. She's saying the bit's not good. She's if you like these comic stylings, listen watch up. Colin from Accounts. I knew it about 120 <laughs> seconds ago when you first interrupted me. I it doesn't really feel nice to get child. interrupted, does it? <laughs> now listen. Okay, I've got it. You got to Wagga okay. Wagga, a town mutually... Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my there God. It is. <laughs> no, no. This is a better bit. You're doing a better bit now. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. It's true. Welcome to Wagga Wagga. So let's do a, a rule of three. Fuck it up a third time. Okay. Fuck it up a third time. <laughs> Welcome to Wagga Wagga, a town mutually inconvenient for everyone. I think that was uh, <laughs> So basically, it was like a shitty destination wedding because no one lived in Wagga Wagga. They picked something that everyone had to travel to because they didn't want each one of the families being pissed. You so, know, the Melbourne group or the Sydney group having to move. So they went, everyone fucking mm-hmm. moved. And also, who wants to go to Wagga Wagga? I, 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 anyone who's thinking was Wagga cheap. Wagga, uh, I actually like the town. But um, it's a I good think town. maybe the answer is it depends on the destination. For sure. instance, Maui, fucking oath. Yeah. Uh, Wagga Wagga, not so much. It was, not so you much. weren't even there. It was a really good wedding. <laughs> okay. Well, he. Yeah, okay. Yeah, apparently, the, the celebrant did you, did, was were you on out a, some bangers. A date, a date with the guy from the bar? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. It was like the first wedding we were, I, we were, mm, I was invited to when we just got together mm-hmm. and it felt a little fresh. You're not talking about me, you're talking about somebody else. No, you. <laughs> In Wagga? You didn't come with me because it was a Wagga Wagga. Oh, oh, was that one? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, Joe yeah. and Go- Joe and Early Harris. days. Oh, that it's would have better. been a nice wedding, actually. They're good it people. It was beautiful. And actually, I do have uh, strong feelings about Wagga Wagga. It's the largest inland town in Australia. Oh, so. God. <laughs> you mean it's, it's, it's like the, mid- it's the middle of the country? No. Uh, not the middle, no. It's no, probably no. three hours from the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, a lot, but it's inland. It's not on the coast. Australia doesn't have a lot of inland. What about Alice Springs? It's no, Wagga's bigger. Alice. What? Yeah, more populous. Whoa. Okay, if you, if you start saying like... Perth, uh, you know, we've, we've gone too far. Okay, we can't, sorry. we can't get into the geography. There's one road that goes around the whole thing. Is that, there is. is that, yeah, is that? yeah. but is you that? can't drive on highway. it because it you'll get not. like uh, pirates. It there's pirates. There's, there's pirates. pirates. Yeah, mm-hmm. desert pirates. What? I don't know. You have something desert over there. Pirates. Desert pirates. They're just pirates. camels. No, man. This is a dream you had. This is. Uh, I think you're microdosing or something. <laughs> he no... literally thinks that Mad Max is Australia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. There's road warriors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I don't even know what you're talking about, but ge- uh, I don't know Australia what is an is. Australia is an island. I yep. think we we've said that it's yeah, an island. Yeah, that. it's an island. It's nation. the largest island. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bigger than New Zealand. Tell you that. Oh my god! You can fit about twelve know. New Zealands in Australia. Right. Fuck you, New Zealand. Your words, not ours. Uh, New Zealand, lo- <laughs> lovely place for a destination wedding. Gorgeous Kiwi say. friends, yeah, mm-hmm, lovely, mm-hmm. beautiful. Wonderful. I've been there. Stunning. I've Have been you? There. Ha- and haven't been to Australia. How do you feel about that? Upset. That's weird. Yeah. Well, we had to change in the Sydney airport. But I don't give a shit, that. mate. I don't give a shit. Step out of the airport. <laughs> go to the fucking Bondi Beach. Yeah. Fight a guy wearing uh, shoulder pads with spikes on it. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's literally one or two of those fights on Bondi Beach most days. Yeah. <laughs> They're driving those buggies on the sand. Yeah. It's wild. It's fucked up. Mm. Mate, you going to take those pads off to go uh, for a swim? Incredible accent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mate, you going to take those pads off to go for a swim? <laughs> Mate, you going to take those pads off to go for a swim? <laughs> I'm not, how's your, how's your uh, American accent? My American is pretty good. Mine is also good, y'all. Ah, uh, y'all, I think we're honing in on it now, pretty good. Wow, they do regional accents, JD. Wow. No, that's standard. That's that is standard. We do regional <laughs> only. That is standard. <laughs> It's funny, when I was doing American Auto, uh, uh, my cast members, when they got a bit more comfy with me, they started to be like, where's your accent based? Because I was doing an American accent in that. Mm -hmm. And my joke was like, it was called Squamish Washington. <laughs> like I picked just something. Oh, like I picked fuck. She did research. Down. She got it, into it. It doesn't exist, obviously. Okay. But there, I also had a caveat that my character's father was Australian. Yeah. Mm. Not scripted. Oh. So if anything, the accent didn't pass down. Just so if something, no, just in case something dropped in. Yeah. In case I said Bean instead of Ben. Right. The terrible. What, terrible. what if your accent doesn't pass to your child? Will you be upset about that? It's funny. Like, she'll probably be pretty Australian at home until she, like, goes to school. But she, we're very proud at the moment because she does some pretty big, like, bye. 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 These big vowel sounds. Big <laughs> byes. And we're pumped about that because yeah. she sounds very Australian. We'll be sad when she's American, but... Uh... <laughs> when she talks like you just uh, <laughs> talked. <laughs> you go, hi, mom and dad. What's for dinner? <laughs> Uh, she'll definitely call you Ma and Pa. Ma and Pa. <laughs> this brings up another point. I'm going to nest an is this good question within this is good question. Great. Uh, by, by the way, I'm a terrible host. Sure. <laughs> Look, we're all thinking it, and I'll say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, God. Have Thank you God. noticed that there's like a trend in America where people are using the Australian accent, like specifically with TikTok. the word... No. N nor. 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 People are saying nor. Yeah. It, uh, my makeup artist again on American Auto. Sorry, I'm a working actress. Oh, my God. Um, again, again we're, network, we're this on a network, network TV. We're Jesus. talking the guy that fucking invented Superstore, yeah. okay? Yeah. Come on. This is a big show. Anytime yeah. I'm in, she, anytime I said no to her, she was like, oh, my God, there it is. Because she, she was, like, quite active on TikTok. And apparently it was like a TikTok bit. People doing the Australian... No. no. Yes, it is. It's a big bit. And here is where we got in trouble. We called our daughter Joni. But like Joni Mitchell. Like J-O-N-I, Joni. But mm -hmm. what I didn't realize is that sounds like I'm saying Joni. <laughs> So oh, I say okay. So Joni. you went from Joni Mitchell to the group that's saying "Don't Stop Believing." Yes. Exactly. And we we never will. Like so, I'll be like, "People, live, what's your daughter's name?" And I say, "Joni," and they go, "Journey," and I'm like, "No, how did we get there?" Yeah. And it's because of that "no" sound. No. Mm -hmm. Journey. Journey. It's mm -hmm. it's really messed us up. Harry's got a bit more of it than I do because I don't know, I'm somehow, more educated. How do you? Uh, say, how is it not happening to I you? I say, uh, "My daughter's name is Journey." <laughs> That sounds like and that's, Judy. But that's your that's your Rupert Murdoch accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, a good Journey. fifty. I would. I, I'm honestly saying fifty percent of Americans think her name is Journey. I don't get it as much. Uh, well, now, now that you're parents, wouldn't you agree that life is about the journey? <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Okay. Really good. Moving on. We didn't even talk about destination weddings. Who fucking cares? I'll just. We'll just do. We could do that on another show. That's how sure. little we talked about it. Honestly, oath, man. but we. You know, they're good. They're good. We went to Maui. We did. We did it. Yeah, it's, we sort of did okay. it. Do we? Are, are you going to chuck some more? At us? Do you want more? Do you want more? No, on no, 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 not right now. Not right now. Not right. No, we're going to move on to the next segment. Look, but he's 50, busy. He's trying to keep it on Fifty-three percent of people. We do poll people before the show. Mm. Say destination weddings are not good. So you oh, are really? in the minority, but it's not. Huh. It's not a vast. Minority. No, Not good. it sounds like it sounds like it was pretty even. Uh huh. I think I think because depends on the wedding, depends on the destination, depends on the people, depends on the fiscal responsibilities of the invitees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inviters. Okay. Inviters. Invite. In yeah. Never mind. Okay. Well, my official ruling is that we might still do this topic on a different show. We might oh. get into we might get into the weeds a bit. Ask Kieran, Kevin. I think for now. Yeah. Kieran, think, Kevin. Are they available? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think Kevin's planning another wedding, but... Um. Yeah. But every time I, I see on, on, like, Instagram reels, they're just, like, singing Dancing. weird songs and stuff. Oh, my God. You know, singing you know, to I'm their not, goats and... I yeah, know. Yeah, they're singing to their birds He does shit. his uh, Monday Monday morning blues kind of trade. He puts on a bunch mm -hmm. of songs. They're very active. 
Yeah. God, on, JD, on we socials. should just have Kevin Bacon. Could, do you think we could just edit this so that it's just Kevin Bacon? Yeah. I think you probably sure. could. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, we'll get into deep fakes. All right, guys. It's time for the Is This Good segment where everything's bad. Mm. It's time to pick your poison. So here's how it works. I'm going to give you some related options that are all bad, and you have to pick your poison. So whichever you consider the least worst option. Wait, wait. I'm the, sorry. Nope. She's terrible you, with double negatives. Oh, no, I God. think I, just don't even ask yet because w- unfortunately we have to do some preamble before we even get to this. Okay. Because okay, so we have I'll to talk it. about we have to talk about the botched BAFTAs or oh, oh, yeah. the BAFTA debacle. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it is a debacle. Wow. Which do you prefer from those I mean, titles? I mean, if we're talking about Choose Your Poison, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess the first one. I had another good one. I forget what it was. You mean I a good one? I forgot to You mean you had one. a good one? Yeah, in ba- really in BAFTA-sing? Uh, in BAFTA-sing. Uh, <laughs> all right, what are, what are the BAFTAs? The BAFTAs are basically the Golden Globes of yeah. Britain. Yes. British. Actually, they're the Emmys of Britain because the Golden Globes. No, because Globes it's is television and film. This is true. That's true. And we were at, we were at the television version. We were at the TV one. They do the one. film one another. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh there's right. no way separate. There's yeah, a... fully separate. That's why I said Church Emmys. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, you were right. Uh, no, no, no you were right. right. You were right. Hey, we can all be right. Okay, we're all right. Not really. Everyone gets a prize. <laughs> well, I do. I, we do crown a winner at the end of the podcast. Oh shit. And so far, that JD is sliding by with a win here. I Easily, didn't, didn't not saying a lot, but he's no. not making Dude, mistakes. You could have told like us. I am. You could have told us this is competitive. At the top. We didn't know because we're very competitive. <laughs> but I agree, JD. We didn't doing, know. We didn't, we didn't know. know. <laughs> JD's doing a real Stephen Bradbury here. Mm. Look it it's up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is this is this is got what you want. Is that mine? Okay, so the. What happened at the Baptist? Like, do you want the? Are you going to tell the folks? Matt said yeah, the same. I think Matt's I'll, I'll set same. it up because yeah. I think it's better if if I have guests on and then I explain the things that they've done. Generally, that's how a podcast works, Harriet. Okay, come yeah. on. That's right. When you go on Mark Marin, which I'm sure you will, both of you, um, massively, he's going to tell you who your guys are. He's going to tell you how you grew up. Mm-hmm. And that's Beautiful. just, yeah. we, we carry on that tradition here. All I right, the it. Baptist. Imagine, picture in your head if you don't know what I'm talking about because mm-hmm. you're a basic bitch American. Yeah. Or Canadian or from somewhere else. These, this is like a highfalutin, very fancy event. Fancy. You're, Patty's is wearing a tuxedo. Yeah. Harry, sure dressed to the nines. Nines. The nines. If not the nine the and a half. Yeah. If not the nine, nine and a half weeks. Uh, and... <laughs> That's a mo- also a movie. Look from, it up. Yeah. I, yeah. He's looking up. <laughs> With Harry, you like this. A lot of nudity. So that's oh. that's exciting. Nine and a half weeks. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah. So because Colin from Accounts mm-hmm. is fucking killing it everywhere. Again, I'm not just saying this. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Came out in Australia. Certified now it's in, fresh. It's certified. <laughs> Well, I would if it's sixty one percent, it's certified fresh. I think so. This, true, is, like, true. this is fresh. Well, and now it was only ninety seven. This is still on the vine. Uh, audience, audience ninety seven percent. Nah, three percent of people. You can't didn't, have it all. Did, didn't did not agree it. with the critics. Or they had issues with the dog getting nudged. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three yeah. percent of people are were uh, upset about the dog. All right. So because this show is killing it, you get invited to present an award at the Baptist. Big yeah. honor. I would Big, huge, We're talking uh, like a room full of celebrities. Again, everyone, the glitz, the glamour, the glitterati. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yep. there, was, there was all three Gs. Yep. Uh-huh. So you go up there, you're presenting the award for best foreign television yeah. show. Best international, okay. they call it. Yeah. Best international. Yeah. Uh, and they thought because even though you sort of have uh, what, what to the uninitiated might sound like a very similar accent to the British, mm-hmm. uh, d- different people, different no, countries. Who knew? It's technically what we'd be up for next year, I think. Yeah, this award. We were lubricating mm-hmm. uh, the category. What, what you're going to be winning. Winning. Stop, don't. They'll never have us back. Get out of here. Fucking bear season two. Scram. I saw that guy. <laughs> that guy was in the audience. Was not not the, the main guy from the bear. The oh, Evan. One of yeah, the, bro- the cousin. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. yeah, the guy that's on Girls, Evan. He has three names: Moss, Baccarat. I'm just going to take a stab at it. Ev- that's Evan Moss, it. Baccarat. He was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so he was there. You're yeah. doing this thing. You're presenting this award. Dahmer wins. Dahmer, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Story of a monster. Or Dahmer and Greg. Yeah, Dahmer and Greg. <laughs> yeah, Dahmer. The, the, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> People are applauding in this audience of celebrities. Yes. They're yeah. like, good for yeah. this. Good for those guys. Good for Ryan Murphy waiting. Productions. You're yeah. waiting for Ryan Murphy or whoever to oh, come Ian on Brennan. and accept yep. their award. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, well, you guys are industry insiders. You know a lot of names. We don't know those names. Okay. Oh, sure. You're so. waiting for Jeffrey Dahmer himself to walk yes. up on yeah. stage. Yes. And uh, no, they're not there. So you, Crickets. being the skilled improvisers you are, mm. you start improv Is there a monster in the house? <laughs> no? Wheel on a 44-gallon drum, or what's, what's happening? <laughs> I guess uh, since... Who would uh, you like to thank, Patty? That mob. Well, look, there's such a long list. Um... <laughs> I guess it all started in the theatre for me, and, um, you know, I guess we'll accept this for, for that team, because it was pretty bloody good. I liked it. Honestly. It was going well. People are dying. It's, it's very yeah. funny, because yeah. you're now accepting this award. And then uh, something happens. Now, Harry, I will let you tell your own story at this point. So then what happens at this point? Basically, at this point, the teleprompter had, like, red flashing letters that said, please open envelope. <laughs> Shit, it just said read envelope. What? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, they're not here. Well done, Harry. No, you do the envelope, I'll do the wall. <laughs> so sorry. Honestly, it's been like this. Shut up, for... okay. <laughs> Jeez. Unfortunately, no shit. Oh, a what? <laughs> Unfortunately, they're unable to be here this evening, so I'll make sure they get this, because we are tight with them. Thank you. Probably not see you again. Thank you. Because I basically did... The bare minimum, the which bare is the Harriet minimum. Dyer story. It should be my production company. Yeah. Bare minimum productions. Yeah, slapdash productions. <laughs> Fucking half do it, girl. I mean, I, I'll tell you why, though. I have quite bendy, uh, weird... <laughs> floppy fingers. They rubbery. Don't, they're okay. rubbery. They're cute. They're uh -huh. slight, there's a slight Disney princess Barbie doll quality to them. A little bit unfinished. Yeah. Put, mm -hmm. put the hands back in. They're not cooked yet is the feeling. Anyway, uh, when the lights were low and they were doing the AV presentation of the nominees, Patty uh -huh. goes, he kind of whispers, he goes, have you got the thing? Pull it out. You're going to open it? Open it. And I went, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've seen it. And he went, open it. And I went, I've, I have. And I, what I'd done is I'd lifted the flap of the envelope, the big gold envelope, and I'd given the card inside a wee tug, and it didn't <laughs> move. Okay. She was pretty snug in there. And what uh -huh. I saw in the exposed V, mangina, mm -hmm. if you will, of the card uh -huh. in the uh -huh. envelope was Dharma, Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story. And I'm like, well, that's, that's the info. <laughs> that's the information on the piece of fucking paper. So uh -huh. I reckon instead of trying to yank this fucking thing out and it flying across the room and giving Imelda Staunton a Cornel tear, I'm going to leave it in there and just be cool, like be a cool girl. Yeah, just yeah. open this up. Is, oh. This is like when you open someone else's mail, but you don't want to yeah. get caught. So you just yeah. sort of like uh, inch it open. Then you use a, an iron to reclose it. Yeah, it was that. So you like, wanted, you wanted Jeffrey Dahmer Christine. to have the souvenir. Absolutely. Yeah. So I was like, Monsters of the Jeffrey Dumpster. Crickets, okay. stillness, mm -hmm. the first time mm -hmm. all night that nothing has happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the teleprompter red letters. Everyone's looking around, murmuring, murmuring. Harriet, open the envelope. We're losing the room. And I pull it out, and at the bottom, of course, there was this wee sticker that said, unfortunately, they're not here. We'll take this award to them. <laughs> yeah. And, but by this point, like the damage had been done. We'd been accepting the award for like two minutes now. And uh -huh. like. Doing a bit of soft shoe. The whole bit was, we mm -hmm. were supposed to, I remember like we had two rehearsals at no point did they say they might not show up and also they were pretty t t strict on time like make sure your bit is short before the, the award and so we made a really choppy short bit we we're proud of that but then we just stayed yeah so we blew Approxim approximately we, a minute or so we blew that out yeah but it was um it was a happy accident i guess because people were people charmed it. Yeah. yeah by it but i wanted to die like as we walked off, I was. It was a bit like, "Is this good?" I was like, "I fucked yes. up in front of a huge group of people." Uh huh. Is this good? And yes, it was. It was good. I think. Well, but it was. It was definitively good. But that's my question. That was going to be my question, which oh, again, Matt, I preempted. Keep but, uh, you. That's okay. Christ. That's this okay. is life with her. I can't do <laughs> no, anything. No, no. I'm just so smart. Uh, 
when we replace your voices with Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick, we're yes. going to take take yeah. out those parts. We're just yeah, yeah. Doing uh, the, laying down the track for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you walk out. <laughs> this is scratch track. You you feel like shit. We fucked. We fucked that up in like a really, really big like big moment. This is on TV. There's thousands of people here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But on the other hand, we fucking killed. We destroyed. We killed. Yeah. Everyone we was laughing. Yeah. So yeah. in that moment, were you able to recognize that it was probably the greatest thing that's ever happened? That I being think we, like, slapdash at each other dire and was laughed. The... Yeah. And yeah. then as we stepped off stage, our uh, my manager was right there, like in the wings. He'd been watching in the green room, and he was laughing and like crying and clapping. And I was like, okay, Nick is the barometer on all this. He set the whole thing up. Uh-huh. If he thinks that was good. We're, we're yeah. okay. Also, and, the, and, yeah. Go on. And then the man who like booked us, the talent booker, came around. He's like, "Oh my god, guys, hysterical." And like, like, that, okay. That's my favorite moment for the last from the last four years of BAFTAs. So I, I like, don't know what happened five years yeah, ago. Five years ago, what the fuck happened? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> what do they want? A nipple? Yeah, fuck hell. <laughs> um, but no, everyone was very happy, and so we were like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Ricky, five years ago, Ricky Gervais showed his testicle while yeah. accepting yeah. Yeah, he an up. award for the office, and went. Eh! <laughs> Why does he make that face in every bit of publicity? He does like, ah, like that face. Dude, he's just get okay, promo for the new show. Just do the face, click, we got it, next. Let's circle back to you saying iron. Is that something you always say? Iron? Yeah, no, yeah, iron? yeah. My, yeah, no, that's is that Canadian? That's Montreal accent. accent. That's oh. Montreal. That's, that's a regional, that's my regional accent. Iron. 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 JD, JD, what would you say? Iron. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Iron would say. It's that's, why J- that's why JD's going to win this episode. There's sure virtually will. no R in ours. It's no. I-O-N. We basically go, iron. iron. We swallow iron. it. We go, uh, yeah, you're going to iron those clothes? <laughs> well, I'm not. You are. No, I always do. <laughs> Sexist. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so you had this big BAFTAs moment. Tons of articles written about it. People mm. saying this was the funniest moment of the show. I showed it to JD. JD left. JD said to me, hey, why do the BAFTAs actually look like fun as opposed to our award shows that are like serious and boring we don't have time to talk about it here's the question here's other things that could happen to you while presenting an award and you oh, have to pick right. your poison okay so back so to, pick, you so forgot how you forgot we were even doing this yes, so, I'm sad. so we have to pick the thing that we like the least that we that we think is the best of a bad bunch okay yes the best okay. of the bad bunch yeah okay okay okay, okay 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 here we go you're up there mm. oh, you announce the award the oh no the fuzz the fuzz <laughs> they're onto us just tell them to quiet down. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you announced the wrong winner. So I'm talking about a classic 2017 La La Land situation. Mm. Moonlight situation. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. Very yep. embarrassing. Very. Yep. And, and, and you're kind of really putting people out when you yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. like you're upsetting a large group of people. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Now you are walking out to the podium. You trip. Wardrobe malfunction. Ooh. So I guess by the rules we've established on this podcast, that is uh, one nipple for Harry and one testicle for Patty. Okay. Okay. Yep. yep. Those are the rules. Yep. I want to know what Pat's wearing. Yeah. To f- have a nut fall out. Is it a, a mini kilt. skirt? Yeah, a uh, kilt. A kilt. A kilt. <laughs> Great point. Okay. Uh, or you go up there and you mispronounce someone's name, of course, like the classic John, John Travolta. John Travolta. Uh, uh, is trying to say Adina Menzel, but somehow said, please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dezim. Nazim, yeah. <laughs> Adele Dezim. He just made up a name. Really good. I wouldn't say that, made, that was mispronounced. A Adele and, Nazim, um, like, is in the phone book. So those it three? Are those, uh, those, three? those are three. And I, before, as, as you think of your answer, so I wanted to look it up because I was like, I know he said Adele Dezim, but there was something he said before. Like, his lead up was it, in and of itself, like, funny like the wickedly talented like he knows her real well yeah so i looked it up and i found in this uh, old huffington post article there is an adele dazim name generator so you put in your real name and it spits out what john travolta would call you so i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you all your adele dazim names that's so funny thank you very much i love i would like to know harriet dyer yeah you are hubert draw (laughs) (laughs) hubert draw hubert draw draw now Patty, this one's interesting because you said people call him Patrice. Yeah. But the Adele Dazim name generator says your name is Patrice Bazil. Oh, that's very oh, good. Oh, Bazil. Bazil. Patrice Stunning. Bazil. What's yours, uh, Matt? J- well, first we're going to do JD's. Sorry, JD. 
It's like Jackson a- Dorneals. Whoa. Oh, that's a good name. That could be yes. your name for all I know. I only well, know you as It's Jason my Doyle. S- yeah. You did my say that at the start. My yeah. son's name is Jackson, so there you go. Oh, oh God. So gonna- what else do you know, Adele Dazim name generator? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think this is like the Oracle of Delphi. Um... Mine is Mateo Ortiz, which Ooh, I think is really good. That's a fantastic really name. You sound like a swordsman. Yeah, yeah, like a Game of Thrones character or something. Sure. Okay, so now your three Sorry, options. Can I, can I just yeah, say, there was a, I used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Uh-huh. Um, used to. I, shut up. In my share house with my <laughs> Now house it's just called Robin. the Kardashians. So yeah, yeah. It is. I used to watch that, but it's now. True. This is exactly right. Yeah. Oh, we've got to plug the Mac, Mac in. Yeah, because you're talking so much. Shut <laughs> up. I used to watch it. Anyway, um, gosh, stay with me. And there was a Kardashian name generator. And I was okay. like, here we go. And all it did was this. My name, Harriet Dyer, became Carriot Kardashian. Uh, well, nice <laughs> and, my, and my housemate, Robin, he became Cobbin Kardashian. It's just like, okay, all they do, yeah. <laughs> not, really putting in, not really putting in effort here. Not really I'm, not, I'm not really seeing enough urgency of plugging in the battery for your computer. <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> oh, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. Because without saying anything, Harry was like, uh, Patty, I'm fucking telling a story. So if you don't get up and do this, we're yeah. just going to go dark here. Yeah. Kind of. Was it the Kardashian uh, name generator story? Hilarious. Yeah, it was that one. But at least, <laughs> she, knew, at least she knew how it ended this time. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> what a dick I'm being. Okay, so here we go. You announced the wrong winner. Okay. Wardrobe malfunction. Yep. Mispronounced someone's name. So what is the best of these bad options? Oh, it's obvious. On the count of three. <laughs> Do it on the count of three. She's thinking so hard. Uh, But the tilt of her head is like that. Yeah. Okay. On the count of three. Are you just us or are we all going to do it? No, no, you just, okay. <laughs> just for you. Okay, ready? One, One, two, three. three Mispronounce someone's name. Malfunction. Interesting. <laughs> I, was, I was between those two. Really? Well, it's a big deal to get people's names wrong in mm-hmm. nowadays. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. your name is your, it's very, we're John Proctor. We're like, come on now. That mm-hmm. is my name. It's, and uh, at least. A wardrobe malfunction, there's some sympathy. It's like, that poor girl. Oh, you, uh-huh. you handled it. Yeah, great recovery. Whereas mm-hmm. if you get someone's name wrong, it's like, you're kind of just disrespectful. Tell that to Janet Jackson. I mean, she's never got over the, uh, the nipple flash. <laughs> wardrobe malfunction. That's actually true. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. As Justin Timberlake has just skated by. Oh, mate. Oh. He's really Stephen Bradbury did. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> um, um, no, that's not a good See, example. If you were Harriet, that. you just tell them who Stephen Bradbury was, but you're saving people's No, time. no, no. I, honestly, I don't want to know. Unless he was a right. uh, uh, barjass. Bar-jass. Is that a reference? Barjass. That's, inc- that's a very deep cut. Barjass. Barjass is up. amazing. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah, look, look it up. up. <laughs> not him, though. No. It's not no, barjass. It's not barjass. Okay. Uh, no, Stephen Bradbury was an Olympian uh, skater, speed oh, skater, oh, okay. and he was dead last, and the other guys were way in front, and they all had a crash right before. Oh, the, I know about this. And then he went past them and won. Yes. Australian. <laughs> it was like the first okay. gold medal any Australian ever won in skating. It was incredible. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's like that at all, but. No, no. Um, no but JD winning, winning this podcast is like <laughs> Stephen Bradbury. <laughs> Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. That's a good reference. Yeah. For that, that's a good reference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I like, because I think what Harry's saying is wardrobe malfunction sucks, but at least we're only harming ourselves. Yes. If we say someone's name wrong, now we're harming someone else. Thank you, man. Which Patty has no problem doing. No if problem. If you think having your name mispronounced is, is a harm, then you've never actually been harmed. Patty's less of a snowflake. Then <laughs> you know. Well, I'm not yeah, a yeah. Like, we're, we're I'm, older. Harry, you with me, you know, JD? We're not, we're not uh, politically totally correct. Hundred yeah, yeah. percent with uh, Patty. Yeah, I I was once involved in a wardrobe malfunction. Yes, uh, we know. You told in, that story already. No, this is a different one. <laughs> oh. uh, in I was in Sydney, actually, Australia, and I was at some formal event, and I stepped there. There was a woman in front of me with a oh gown, God. like a really long gown. And we were going downstairs, and I accidentally stepped on her dress, and yeah. boop, accidentally. it was it would no nothing. Every, it all came. Tits, everything. tits out, like, Stop like it. tits akimbo, tits akimbo, Stop like it. yeah, <laughs> like oh, it was bad. Get off me! <laughs> but to- exactly. It sounds at least like I knew her, but which, so which was oh, all my clothes have fallen off. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> Nor McGarry, oh, no. JD, you brute! What have you done to all the jumbling out everywhere? 
Why is she English? I don't know. Why is she, she, can, why she, is she can, English circa 1973? Is it, is it true that in Australia, if someone accidentally tears off your dress, you can all you can do is turn around and go, oh, cheeky. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> that is true. That is a, uh, a bylaw. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so she was not upset with you, J.D.? Uh, she was pretty upset with me, but, oh, okay. I, so. I, but at upset. least I knew I knew her, so it was mm-hmm. like I could apologize and be, mm-hmm. and she knew me enough that I wouldn't, you know, do do something like that on purpose or whatever. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, but, yeah. sure. It was it was mortifying, so that's like the worst. Of so you all knew of her, it. yeah. And talk to me. <laughs> Were the breasts better or worse than you thought? And well, and and you okay. would have already. This had is a, a woman asking this, so it's okay. Yeah, well, here's continue. here's the real tragedy. All the men wanted to ask, but <laughs> yeah, the real, uh, the real tragedy is you that I was behind, behind her, so behind. I didn't. Uh, I was the only person who didn't. Uh, see her. Okay. Oh, uh, God. And Harry wants to know. She just uh, texted me. Uh, we're yeah. talking big, big naturals, or uh, <laughs> they're pretty big. Uh, naturals. naturals, I cannot comment. I have Secret no lodges. Secret <laughs> lodges. <laughs> You got you got work in some secret larges there. It's a tiggled, <laughs> tiggled biddies. Uh, okay, tiggled biddies. I was not to top that story at all because that was a real life story. But I was doing a play some years ago. The importance of being earnest in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Okay, sophisticated. And, uh, very Wi wild, wild. <laughs> and it was uh, the actor portraying the part of Lady Bracknell. Uh, was in fact Jeffrey Rush, and he look was him make- up, look him lo- up, look him up, <laughs> um, and he was making his big entrance in the full regalia, and a part of his dress, mm. n- not unlike the what JD the, your friend was wearing, it hooked on the part of the set, and so it snagged there, and he walked to the front of the stage, and the entire skirt came off. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is his, and he's standing there, and he's like ye olde like full costume bl- like pantaloons, bloomers. Whatever, bloomers. Yeah. And everyone was pissing themselves, and he was livid. And he goes, I think we'll try that again. And then he gathered it up and walked back off stage. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Yeah. He didn't offer a, a, a Wildean witticism? No. He didn't do a whoopsie? He didn't do a, cool, blimey. <laughs> uh, okay, so just so we have an answer here, and then yeah. we're going to move on. Okay. And, and you can have different answers. Yes. So Harry's saying... Wardrobe malfunction because she only mm. wants the harm to come to herself. Selfless, really. Yeah, um, and she yeah. loves getting her tits out now. It's <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I would you're like, fall you're like, away. If we, if we if we trip, wardrobe mm. malfunction, and yeah. I fall on and kill a dog. Oh, yeah. perfect! This Stunning. is for me. What <laughs> this I this is a perfect this. setup. I think I would try to fall in this situation in a in an ass way. So that I could get the ass out there. Do you oh, know really? what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just while it's still, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get mm-hmm. it out there. Get it out early. Get it on film. Get proof. Get proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can say to uh, Joni Patty. in many years to come, like, look it up. It used to be, used to be you could bounce it, <laughs> bounce it, quarter off that thing and break a second story window with it. Far out. <laughs> oh, I've never heard that second. That must be an Australian thing. No, it's me. Uh, I've, I've never heard the second that. part of the bounce. Yeah, because the, it's, uh, cause it's, cause it's that. Time. Mm. It's that because no buildings in Australia are above two stories. But again, this that's is a rule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This that's... is all thanks to our um, invisible friend who does glute bridges. She's oh yeah, we still oh, haven't mentioned friend. her name. Still haven't mentioned her name. And we won. Uh, I'm and actually enjoying it, and we Me might too. not. Now that's a that's a good bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have <laughs> we have picked our poisons. There's only one thing left to do. Very quickly, I, I've kept you. I told you this would be no longer than an hour. Mm. You did. That's a fucking uh, lie. Is that is that my fault? If if you were going to apportion blame, I would honestly. I'm I would sorry, blame you asked JD. us to come here and talk. <laughs> Have I, I missed the point of a podcast? Yeah. No, as we said, the point of a podcast is to have you on and for me to explain everything. You've oh, done. great. Okay. Yes. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Problematic. So, so subjective trivia. <laughs> It's just like regular trivia, except only I know the answer. Brilliant. So here's today's question, okay? Great. And I, I have my answer written on this card, just so you know mm-hmm. I'm not cheating. Mm-hmm. The goal is that our answers match, but if, if they don't, that's okay. Just okay. go because it's subjective. Go from the gut. Yeah. It's subjective. Okay. But there is a right answer, but only I know it. All right, here <laughs> we go. What is the most fun Australian slang to use? Okay. okay, now I might ask you if you're up for it to do a little bit of improv. Sure. I'll say the word. You use it in a sentence. A oh, rhyming slang or just slang? No, 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 no. Well, oh, I'll slang. say the yeah. word and you yeah, say it. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Yeah. 
I'll say the word and I'll say for our foreign listeners what it actually means. Okay. So, pissed, as in drunk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, uh, Patty, you could take this one. Yeah, we were out last night. We had a few and we, we got pretty pissed. Yeah, she's a pissed up Great. slapper. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the, the second one. Yeah. Harry, you take this one. A piss up, piss as up. in a big old party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to come over and we'll have a piss up? Yep. Yep. You couldn't, okay. o- you couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery. Yeah, that's an insult. <laughs> that's an insult. Oh, that's he, good. He is fucking like useless. He could not organize a piss up in a brewery. Yeah, yeah. Also, give us the, uh, give us the, um, if you dropped him in a... Oh, yeah. If you dropped him in... Oh, God, Harriet. If you dropped him in a barrel of nipples, he'd come up sucking his thumb. That's another useless... Yeah, he's useless. Can't do anything. And now, the, yeah. whose nipples? Are these your nipples? The, I guess it's Nameless pretty... Nameless nipples. I'm a bit worried about the nipples now. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're drifting back into Jeffrey Dahmer territory. Yeah. I'm in a hospital oh, yeah. all of a sudden. A barrel of nipples. I guess they're from a, a, the, a plastic surgeons collected them. Sure. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Um, that is a very good... I'm going to start using that. Yeah. Couldn't... Would fall in a barrel of if nipples. If you threw him in a, ba- in a barrel of nipples, he'd come up sucking his thumb. Yeah. Okay. Uh, piss off. Patty, yeah. you take this one as in... Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Um, I think that's an hour and 18 minutes, so piss off, guys. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. Deep cut. Now, you are a good it. actor, so I can't tell if you're actually in that. Do it as I'm Logan not. Roy. Piss off. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys not say piss off? No. Piss oh. off. You've not noticed that people aren't saying piss off to you here? Piss off. No, I just thought that we would, they didn't want no us one, to. No, p- one, no wants one wants us to leave. <laughs> but do you say, you, that really pissed me off. That's how you would say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Piss, no, it oh, pissed me off. Oh, piss off. But no, at the start of no, Mrs. Doubtfire, he goes, piss off, Lou. Yeah. I've used piss off before. Come on. It's very uncommon. It's not as common as. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or the last one, a piece of piss. Oh, yeah. Oh, that podcast, piece of piss. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was easy. Piece of piss. Yeah. Piece of piss. All right. Easy. So, uh, all right. So those are your four piss. options. Piece. Pissed, piss up, piss off, piece of piss. I think First of all, what's up with all the piss over there? Lots we of love piss. it. We, we love, love it. Piss. <laughs> you love piss. Australia's known as the golden shower <laughs> nation. <laughs> I think of those... Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Piece of piss is, is the, the best, best one. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, JD, would you uh, would you care to give your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think piece, piece of piss is the yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're ending this fucking podcast on a bang. Yeah. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's so fun because you can't have a piece of liquid. I know. It's Where did that come unless, from? Not unless piece you piss. dehydrate it. And it's flaky in its dehydrated form, or you put it in like uh, maybe you piss on a baking tray, put it in the uh-huh. freezer, okay. pull it out, I'm and snap this. a section off. Uh, piss brittle. Piss yeah, br- that's a, and that's what we call. <laughs> yeah, that's Australian lemonade. I yeah. just found my afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be weird, but and smell strange in the kitchen. Do you know before though? Before you gave us the four options, I was gonna yeah. give you my favorite piece of Australian. And that's uh, cunt. No. Okay. No, we all I mean, get we to love enjoy that. that. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mine would be, um, I'm not here to fuck spiders. Yeah. Oh, go on. It's just like, um, I, I, uh, stop wasting my time or something. Stop wasting my time. Yeah. Like you've come in, you, you said you'd do something. I'm mm. not here to fuck spiders. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or go, should we, um, I- implying that sometimes someone is there to fuck spiders. I sometimes so. they go, so should we, uh, should we start the podcast? Mate, I'm not here to fuck spiders. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. like I'm not here for a haircut. Do you I'm have not that here expression? For a haircut. No, we don't have that either. Yeah, oh, well, that's, that's, the, that's the PG version of I'm not here. I'm not yeah. here to fuck spiders. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, welcome Learning to Australia. There's your passport. Stamp. Stamp. Nice. Thank you. Um, Anyways, yeah, that's that's the show, guys. Patty, Harry, where can people find you? And if you want to say anything about any of the things you're working on, I don't know what can be said. But well, oh. you've, you've gone give Colin from accounts a big rap, but we can't say when or where it's dropping. But it'll um, come out soon. Yeah, but it will come. Months. Yeah, it will yeah, come yeah. out. We're told this year. Yes. Okay. It's just they're trying to eke it out with the strike, so they're going to have because of the writer strike. There's less content at the moment, so they're just mm-hmm. holding it back a little. Yeah, I think okay. that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's in how many countries you said? We counted. Ooh, it's at least seventeen. 17 it's, 20. Um, well, like and that's Bear seventeen Alaska. airlines. Seventeen airlines. Seventeen yeah. different yeah. airlines. We're exclusively in the air. It's one yeah. airline that goes to seventeen countries. It's on that airline. Yeah. 
No, it's in Israel, it's in New Zealand, it's in, uh, it's about to be all through Europe. You read them. This is like on IMDb or something. It's every- It's about to drop on, I don't know, the um, Amazon Benelux or something, which yeah. is, <laughs> which is sounds Belgium. like... Yes. Netherlands. 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 Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yeah. yeah. Luxembourg, of course, the most important of those three. There Benelux. you go. That's Benelux. Well, what are they? They couldn't get your show in Andorra? They couldn't, they couldn't get it in <laughs> Vatican City? Right. They right. couldn't get it in Monte Carlo? Monte- I think it might be in uh, Italy. It might be in Vatican oh, I don't City. Know if it is. I think the Pope's a big fan. But we I can't wait to see like <laughs> it on places where they've dubbed us. And there are people who will become our dub people. Yeah. Like that's right. the thing. The dubbers then follow your career. Yeah. They're then, then linked to your career, which I think is oh, a fun that's idea. Cool. And then you could you could meet them one day. Yeah. yeah. You could and we, do a fun Instagram yeah. story and be like, This is me. This is my dubber. This is my this Italian is dubber. Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like like people do when it's like this is my stunt double, you know, when you're doing yeah. like Timothy Chalamet with a stunt double. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cute. And they do so three cute. of them and then they show Jackie Chan or they show Tom Cruise. Who <laughs> <laughs> does do stunts? J- well Jackie, Chan is, Jackie Chan is everyone's stunt. Did Jackie Chan do your stunts on call? Yeah. Yes. He, he did the nipple. He, it's Jackie Chan's it's nipple. It's his nipple. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And he did uh, the dogs. Uh, he was hit by the car. The as dog's well. yeah. nipples. He was yeah, also yeah. No, a dog. it's a male dog. <laughs> male dog. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what about uh, socials? You want anyone to follow you there or not really? Sure. Go nuts. I don't know. Uh, 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 what are we, Patrick Brammel on Instagram. Yeah. There you go. At Harry Harry. There's a dash or an underscore. I don't even know. Check us out. We used to okay. have blue ticks on Twitter, but not anymore because who's paying for those? Only well, weirdos. Okay. So go Ooh. to uh, Patrice, Patrice Brazil Patrice on Brazil. Instagram. Yep. Yeah. And Humphrey Draw. H- yeah. Hubert. I think it's Hubert. <laughs> oh, Hubert Draw. <laughs> Cute. Hubert Draw. Hubert Draw. Hubert Draw. So find them on Instagram. Uh, remember to check or us carry out on it Patreon. Kardashian. Yes. Oh, that's uh, yeah, yeah. You missed that part, Pat- Patty. She talked. He was right here. He was right here. It's a great it's story. A great <laughs> story. <laughs> that story. It kills um, at parties. What's the story so nice? We, the story so nice. We told it twice. It's good, oh. Though. Why Look, did I have to say that? Why no, you did. Hey, that? hey, you're a good host. Come Thank on. I, well, I don't want to hear this anymore. Yeah. You're right. Because you're right. okay. Yeah. Okay. Check us out. Check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash is this good. Send us topics. Email us at is this good pod at gmail.com. Congratulations to Jason Doyle for winning this episode of Is This Good. Thank you. You killed it. Applaud you. You killed it. I would also say, I mean, if people aren't watching this, they won't know. Our friend's dog kind of won. Look at her. <laughs> Yeah. Just oh, there, the there was a dog there this whole time? The whole time. <laughs> oh, J.D., I don't know. I haven't seen that dog move. I don't know what these people did to it. I don't it. know what you're talking about. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> does, does the dog die in this podcast.com? Yeah, great question. <laughs> great question. Uh, and fine, I'll do it. Shout out Isaac and Olivia. Oh. Woo! For setting this up. Yeah, you hey, hot people. Cutest do, people in the world. Do Olivia a favor if you live in the LA area. Google, when you're done Googling Steven Spock, Bradbury. Stephen Bradbury. Stephen Bradbury. And Stephen Harry's Bradbury. nipple. <laughs> and Harry's nipple. Google yeah. Silver Springs, LA. It will yes. make her very happy. Yes. Uh, it's killer. All right. 8710 You've... Melrose. <laughs> okay. Wow. Off the dome. There you go. You're that's welcome. a good kid. That's a good friend. Obviously, you're a better friend than I am. Much. Uh, Much. Thanks for listening. Thanks to JD. Thanks to Patty and Harry for coming on. Thanks in advance for leaving a five star review. Wow. I hate to end it, but Presumptuous. I have to say, I have to say, for everyone, I'm Matt Austin, and this was good. See you next week. Cute. <laughs> you guys. <laughs>